All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS model UX305L. So first we're gonna to wanna to remove all the screws from the bottom. They do have some hidden screws on this. So I pulled up these covers. You can use whatever to get them up. I just used my fingernails and went underneath. It's not gonna be that easy to peel these up. I left them slightly peeled up to make it easier. Um, but yeah, it took me a while to kind of get these off. You can use like plastic pry tools if you don't want to risk scratching this. Um, but yeah, I just used my fingernail, got underneath and pried them up. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do, we're going to use a PH or JAS one screwdriver and we'll remove the two screws under here. Okay. I don't know if this is actually even holding the case down, but I mean, it doesn't look like it's attached to the plastic piece, but we're going to remove them anyways. Okay. So remove those two screws. Then out here, we're going to use, they look like T5 or Torx 5 screwdrivers. So we're going to switch to a T5 screwdriver and we're going to remove all these screws. Yep. Okay, so remove all those screws. Keep the screws in order because they are different size, shapes, and lengths. You don't want to get them mixed up because you can damage the computer if you do mix them up. So this is the first time I'm opening this laptop. This is a customer's computer. As with almost every single other video I make, they're all customer devices for the most part. So yeah, most of the questions people ask, a lot of them I can't answer because I don't own these computers. So I can't really open the things back up to take a look. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I do what I can when I'm fixing people's computers. They don't ask me to like completely take them apart, so I don't want to risk damaging their computers. And that's why on a lot of the videos, I don't completely pull out everything because there is risk involved and I don't want to risk things that aren't mine. So yeah, but anyways, once we get all these screws out, okay, let's see if we can just pull this cover up. I'm going to try with a suction cup first. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to pry it out. All right. So got a suction cup here. Let's try and pull it. Okay, it does come up. I pulled from the lower end here. And when you pull it, it actually comes up just like that. And as, as I was saying earlier, I don't think you even had to remove these rubber covers because it doesn't look like it holds anything down. Um, actually, I see now. I think somebody opened this before and the plastic is actually broken here because this looks cracked. So there are actually clips here too, but it looks like the customer opened this before as well. Um, so it looks like they broke all these clips off, but, um, this part over here, it looks like, um, there's no clips at all. So you should actually be able to lift it from the lower half. And then you kind of want to flex the case this way, if you can, to undo those clips and there are some clips on the back here. So yeah, it looks like the back part would be the hardest to remove if you are opening it for the first time. So anyways, the battery connector is here. So to disconnect that, you slide this latch up just like this. All right, there's a metal, I don't know if you can see it, but there's this metal latch here. So you have to slide that up and then you can go underneath here. I use my fingernails. You can use whatever and then just pop this up and that's how you disconnect the battery. All right. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to disconnect everything because this is my customer's computer, not mine. And I don't want to risk damaging more things. They're just having booting issues and I have a feeling it's a bad SSD. Um, if you are going to disconnect the LCD or LVDS connector, which is here, after disconnecting the battery and unplugging it, you want to open it up and press and hold the power button about 10 to 15 seconds. Again, I'm not going to be removing all this stuff, so I don't really need to do this step. The main thing I'm doing is just taking out the SSD. Looks like the RAM. This looks like RAM, so I have a feeling it has built-in RAM here. So if the RAM goes bad, you don't really have a way to fix that other than replacing the whole motherboard or logic board. So we're going to take out the SSD here. There's just one screw holding it in place. Um, and it looks like a M.2 PC, uh, not PCIe. This looks like a M.2 SATA SSD actually. Um, there's no, oh, there's a label, but they covered it with this sticker here. 
um, and oh it just tears so I guess I can't really check what kind of SSD I see it's a M.2 SSD 256 gig that's all I can see and then the rest is peeling off so I can't even pull off this um, plastic here that they put on it that's kind of dumb but anyways you got the keyboard connector here you got the speaker connector here and then I believe this cable, I, I didn't take it out, but I'm pretty sure it's running underneath here. I can actually see part of it between the battery packs here. Wireless card is soldered to the board, but this board is separate. So if your wireless has issues, you can actually um, replace this whole USB SD card slot board. And after doing that, you can get the... Um, what do you call you can get the internet and everything it felt like this connector was actually loose so I have a feeling if I put it back together it might start working again the customer oh, I'm gonna have to use a PH0 or JAS0 screwdriver to take these screws out I'm just gonna tighten them actually not take them out but uh, when I pushed on this it kind of crackled a little bit so that usually means that this connector was loose I don't know if the person when it was having issues they tried popping it open maybe they took that out and didn't put it back right so if they're lucky it, or it could be this just came loose and if I put it back together it might turn on right so I'm gonna do that first before I completely take it apart okay so I'm just gonna reconnect this piece We'll put this screw back in. All right, I'm gonna put the battery back on. The battery, you just line it back up, push it down, and then put that metal latch back over the top. Okay. There we go, just like that. The LCD connector, if you're removing, you would just pull this tab. Sometimes it's hard to get out, so I use my fingernail in order to pry it up. But again, I reconnected the battery, so I don't wanna mess with that. Okay. So I'm going to open it up now. There's not really much else you can do with this computer. You can, it looks like you can remove the fan. There's just these three screws holding it, and then you can pull the fan out. And then the battery also has like these screws holding it in place. There is a battery model number here. Um, C31N1428. So you'll want to open yours up and check what you got inside. But it, from there, that's what I see. Let's try and turn this on. Okay, power it back up. It might be resetting the BIOS right now, so it's starting up. Oh, it's still doing the repair thing, so I guess that didn't do anything. Um, if you want to know how to get to the BIOS, it's uh, either F2 or delete. Usually I just press both, and then it will go to the BIOS eventually. So while it's booting up, come on, F2 or delete. Still taking a while. You can tell it's on because the power light for the power button is on, but oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try and reset to default. Save changes, and let's try and load the Windows Boot Manager here. Last time it gave a weird security issue. I wonder if it's gonna do that again. that happens I'm just gonna put it back together because it looks like it's not reading properly come on still booting up so the customer told me if it doesn't work the main thing they want is the data so I'm assuming after I pull the hard drive out if I put a new one in and do a clean install of Windows it'll work just fine um, but I have a feeling their SSD is having issues so wow it like usually computers don't take this long to turn on unless there's a hard drive issue so I have a feeling the SSD is failing and I'm probably not going to be able to get their data but we'll find out <clears throat> there are data recovery places there's the cheapest one I know um, they're actually called $300 data recovery um, hopefully they don't blow up and get too busy uh, but I've been sending customers over there because usually I find they do a good job so I don't know what's going on. It's taking forever to start back up again, and I'm guessing it's because the SSD. So we're just gonna keep waiting and see what happens. The power light is on. Come on. All I did was reset the BIOS. It shouldn't take this long. It's SSD. The processor, according to this, is an i5. There's no 
movable um, RAM or anything. So the only thing, unless it's the main board has failed. Wait, why is the battery light blinking green? Is it going to die? Come on, I don't think they gave me the charger for this, so I can't plug it in. Hurry up thing. Actually, I do have the charger. I actually left it plugged in, so it shouldn't be getting stuck. I don't know what's going on. What's this? Why is it blinking green? Well, anyways, I think I'm just going to stop there. It's probably a motherboard issue. The fan started spinning up. It got warm enough to start spinning. But, yeah, the computer's not doing anything. So, anyways, to put it back together, pretty straightforward. Just do everything in reverse, put the cover back on, put the screws back on. Again, I am going to be taking out the SSD to try and get the data for them. So, if this does nothing, I'm just going to force shut it off. And we'll call it that. All right. This kind of connector, these um, you take out these screws and you can just pop them straight up. Same thing like the connector for the LCD. And then keyboard, I believe this is a trackpad connector. I think I already mentioned the speaker connector and the wireless antennas. If you want to know how to remove them, you can watch my other videos. But basically you pop up the tails and you just pull it straight up and these connectors will pop off. But that's pretty much it. It looks like it's not turning on. So I don't know what's going on with this thing. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully this video helped. Please like, subscribe, help others find my videos. If you want to learn how to open up computers, if you watch probably like five of my videos, like different ones, maybe like between different brands, Apple and things like that, HP, Dell, Lenovo. If you watch one of each brand, you'll probably figure out how to open up almost every single computer. Um, the rest you can kind of figure out as you go for the most part. But um, yeah. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next one. This one's just, I don't know what it's doing. It's its acting like it's on, but it's not doing anything. All right, see you guys later. Bye.